Hey, it's Rob from Fandroid.com. The Android Developers Challenge 2 judging application is now on the Android market. So if you go into the market and you go ahead and, and sort by, I actually had problems finding it. Um, and even searching for Android Developer Challenge, I had problems finding it. So we're just going to go ahead and search for the word challenge. And for me, that was the quickest word uh, that brought it that brought it up quickly. So I'm using a makeshift uh, tripod here. So apologies for the angle, but the top one says Android Developer Challenge. Um, and let's see, get in the action and help judge Android Developer Challenge two applications. Just download this app and start voting for your favorite applications. Um, so there's already 21 ratings let's see what people say cool Carl I'm wondering if that's Carl from uh, the Fandroid tips that's been all the tips coming into the tip line uh, we could read all the comments but let's just go ahead and install it network communication Google accounts read phone state let's see what else we've got to do here that's all pretty much so go ahead and install it and uh, there you can see it's downloading now hopefully my battery lasts I'm on the red right now but it just got there so um, apologies for the little status delays let's see now it should be on 3G now so yeah it's already completed I didn't see how large the file was but let's open it up and see what we've got end user license agreement except I know you guys love how I go through this. oh I didn't even read it did I whatever I did it was there an option um, look that's pretty cool there's a new application to review so its status updates indicate when there are new applications for cast your votes to determine the finalist for Android developer challenge 2 please keep an eye on the notification bar we will notify you when apps are ready for judging if you need help, select the help option in the menu. That's really cool. So um, it's it. That's. I, I wonder if they're. They must be going through the apps themselves, and as they judge them and make sure they're okay to put on the market, they uh, they just make them live. So that's an interesting method of doing it. I wonder if there's a rhyme or reason for how it works. Okay, so thank you for your help in judging. Let's just see getting started. Um, yes, the first app is ready for configuration. The notification takes you to an installation screen. It lists details. Then you install the app. You get another notification after the app has been installed and is ready for your review. I tried to install the app. Nothing happened. So it looks like the downloading system may get stuck in rare occasions. Hmm. Let's see. How should I s score an app? There's looks like equally weighted criteria, originality of kind. You guys just want to check out the judging of apps, right? <clears throat> um, so let's go ahead and open up the status. There's a new application to review and uh, see what that does. So we've got prankdialer.com from Uber Systems LLC. Have your say on what the best apps are. La la. Details. Send a funny call to your friend's phone with the official prankdollar.com Android app. Make everyone laugh with our continually growing list of popular songs, messages, and pranks. This application places an actual phone call from our server to the recipient. No phone call is made from your phone. Please use discretion. We actually uh, had a review of this ourselves with Spoof app, and you had to pay for minutes that you used, and you could make it look like the phone was coming from any number that you wanted to. Um, so it spoofed the phone number. Let's see, network communications, kind of hard to read. Full internet access, read phone state, and read contact data. So let's go ahead and install it. <clears throat> downloading the app so now it just sends me back to here I'm tired of judging apps what do you do that's funny that they have to include that <laughs> okay so there's an application ready for review but obviously 
we want to test out the application we just downloaded and looks like that's the first issue is the screen state doesn't accept horizontal uh, screen so we've got to do it vertical enter phone number I can't even really test this on here because I don't have another phone with me who can I prank call um, I'm going to prank call my oh that's another thing right when you start it and type the phone number so you've got to delete this enter phone number which is pretty stupid it should just disappear and the number should start dialing um, so let's see I'll prank call my brother oops wrong one I'm calling my So we've got the number there, done. Okay, I don't want to show you his number, but uh, choose a prank. So you get to choose from different pranks, I guess. Let's try Rap Chop. If that's a, it's Vince with a Rap Chop, <laughs> that would be hilarious. Let's see, we can preview it. Let's do that. Oh, there's Chocolate Rain on there too. That would be pretty funny. Uh oh, it's not responding. Okay. I thought we selected it. Let's preview again. Okay. So it looks like it's not going to work. Let's see if we can call and do it. International calls require credits. Interesting. So the number that acts as the gateway between must be an international number. Is there a menu here? Oh, well, here comes the preview. It is that. I love this video, by the way. But anyways, so can I stop this now? Yeah. Okay. So the number that it uses to interface between must be an international number spoof app like worked with that it asked you where you were calling from and you know took that into consideration so this is clearly not a app that was made in the united states or developed for united states use um, i wonder if there's a way to deal with that in the android developer challenge 2 criteria um, so I'm going to go back here and review this and give it zero stars because I couldn't even use it. I don't know if it's their fault, though. If they could... Oh, let's see. There's these different... Originality of concept. I think it's a pretty neat idea. Um, I'll give it four stars for... Eh, three stars. It's not like it's the most original in the world, but definitely a good idea. Effective use of the Android platform. I'll give it three stars. Uh, nothing like really crazy there. Polish and appeal, one star. Um, it with the landmark switching and the fact that it was forced closing, indispensability, one star. Um, yeah, so didn't give it a very good review, but thank you for your review. The application will now be removed from your phone. You'll be notified when that kind of sucks, so you don't get to keep the applications that you review. Um, I guess. If you want to keep an application, you could probably delete it from your phone or delete the ADC2 application from your phone and then re-download it and maybe it won't realize that there's still an application uh, left. So then there's a new application to review. Let's just see what it is before I get out of here. Um, Cyborg Tours by Cyborg. <clears throat> so... It says, Cyborg Tours will start automatically when your Android cell phone reaches points of interest, but you may also access them manually. Uh, this application is used to find members of your group, share the tour with them, track your way, plan a trip, select language, and more it works with or without internet connection. So I wish there was a way you could skip an application and say that you didn't want to download it and you didn't want to test it um, because naturally, I mean, I could do that. I could just do install and then review it with a crappy review and move on but if I'm really not interested in an application then maybe they should you know take that as a judge judging criteria how many times that application was reviewed to begin with because I mean you don't there like what if there's a beauty application that helps you put your makeup on like I'm not gonna do that and 
Some of you might want to think that I might do that, but you've got a sick mind. Um, no, so there you go. Pretty much, that's it. Um, the Android Developer Challenge 2 uh, judging application. And uh, share your comments and your thoughts on it below. And let's get some... Um, Let's get an area, uh, there's the application spoof app by the way, great prank calling application. But let's get an Andrew, in a Android forums uh, discussion or even a, a complete forum going on the Android Developer Challenge too so we can share ideas on the different applications out there. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. So here it is guys, the Android Developer Challenge 2 application on the G1. Bam!